Then one of the wolves says, but I thought you were going to eat her. Then Jason says well, I kinda am going to eat her, just not with my mouth. Then Fear says OMG. You're not implying what I think you are. Are you going to put me in your asterisk gags asterisk I don't even want to say it. Then Jason says you mean in here. As he puts his paw with fear right above his tail and faces fear towards his crotch. Fear notices his giant anus. Just to clarify, his asshole is not big. It's a normal sized asshole. It is just huge from fear's perspective because she's tiny. Fear starts retching at the sight and smell of his anus. Jason moves fear and she throws up in the grass. Then Jason moves fear back to his face and says now nah, I can't put you in there just yet. First I need to lube you up. I think I'll do what I suggested to my friend. Then fear says wait, you actually have a friend? Then Jason replies with yes and he likes the same things I like. Maybe later I'll let him finish you off. Anyway, this is why I needed both of my paws. Jason takes his free paw and begins to jerk off. He holds fear close to the tip of his dick for when he comes. Fear's friends are so disgusted right now. One of them says what the actual fuck? You are so fucking disgusting. The Jason says you should be jealous of fear. She gets the less painful treatment. When I eat you four, it's going to be a slow painful death in my stomach acid. That thought helps Jason's erection and Jason comes all over fear. Then he smears it all over fear's fur, giving fear an even coat of cum. Some of it gets in fear's mouth and she tries to spit it out. Then Jason says with a smirk so, how does it taste? Fear coughs then says you are so disgusting, you fetish freak. Then Jason says you know what? I just thought of a fun activity for me to do to you when I get home and shit you out. Fun for me, but painful for you. Anyway, that's for later. Time to shove you up my ass. Jason slowly moves his paw with fear back down to his crotch. Fear shakes desperately trying to get the semen off of her so that it won't work as a lube. She does shakes him off, but she still has a thin layer that she can't shake off easily, so that doesn't work. Jason holds fear near his anus and grips her at the tip of his paw. She stops the tough act and just starts begging for him to stop, but Jason carries on. He slowly moves her towards his anus. As soon as fear touches Jason's pucker, she stretches her arms out trying to grip the rim of his asshole and push back, but she is too tiny. She just ends up pushing his anus open. Once her head is inside she gives up on trying to escape and puts her arms down. With more pushing from Jason, Fear finds herself completely immersed in Jason's rectum. Jason slowly moves his paw back out. Fear gets her last glimpse of light as Jason's anus closes behind her. Outside Jason uses his smelly, cum-covered paw to grab the four wolves from his mouth. So, did you enjoy what you just saw? Asks Jason. One of the wolves says I don't think I'm going to unsee what I just saw. Then another says I think I need to pour acid on my eyes. Then Jason says don't worry. You'll get the opportunity to do that. Then the wolf says dude, it was just a figure of speech. I don't want any acid on me. Then Jason responds with well, you really don't have a choice. I was going to eat you anyway. Oh, well. Jason drops all four wolves in his mouth at once. Then he tilts his head back. And with a big gulp, he swallows all of them together. Jason gets up. He feels fear trying to crawl out of his anus. He contracts his anus which pushes fear back in a little. Then Jason jumps and puts his back legs up against the tree and keeps his front legs on the ground. Then with his bum in the air, he starts shaking it. That makes fear slide deeper into his rectum. Also the shaking makes fear disoriented, thus making it harder for her to remember which way to go. Jason gets back on the ground and starts walking home. Meanwhile, in Jason's stomach, the wolves who are scared for their life all start panicking everyone finds each other and cuddles up together. They all calm down for a second. Wait. I don't feel any acid. Says one of them. Oh. Maybe he lied. Says another wolf. Well, there is some strange liquid touching us. Uh oh, now it's starting to burn. I think he was right. Says a third wolf. Then they all start screaming again as the acid begins to burn their flesh. In Jason's rectum, fear is in a rather shitty situation literally. Fear is deep enough in Jason's rectum that she is partially covered in shit. 
she tries and succeeds to get out of the shit, but she's still stuck deep in his rectum. Fear has nothing else to do. So she just kinda sits there shivering out of fear as to what's going to happen to her next. A few minutes later, Jason is still walking home. In his stomach, the wolves notice that it's taking longer to kill them than they expected. I'm in so much pain right now. I thought I would be dead by now. Says one of the wolves. Jason arrives back at Adam's house. Hey, Jason. Says Adam. Eat any tasty prey lately? Oh yeah. I've got so much to show you. The first one is a surprise. I'll show you it right now. Says Jason. Jason puts his front legs up on a wall and kinda stands up. Then he starts shaking his ass. This time he makes fear fall back down to his anus, but she does not fall out. Jason gets back on the floor. Then he gets in the position to take a shit. He starts pushing. Fear gets a little excited. She thinks mm, he's letting me out. Maybe I can make a run for it. Fear then tries to help Jason shit her out by pushing his anus open and jumping out. Jason quickly grabs the tiny wolf before she can run away. Fear's previously bright neon fur is now tinted brown. Jason shows Adam the wolf. Then Adam says wait, you actually put someone in your ass? That is amazing. Why didn't I think of that? Then Jason says that's not all. Do you want to see some partially digested prey who may or may not be alive? Adam yells omg. Yes. Then Jason asks Fear do you want to see what's left of your friends? Then Fear says sniff, but I thought you ate them. Then Jason says well let me show you. Jason then begins to make gagging and retching sounds. Then he pukes out a bunch of acid as well as Fear's friends, who have been reduced to fur le bloody fleshy, abominations that still kinda resemble wolves. Jason and Adam notice some movement from the bodies. I think they are still alive. Says Adam. Jason tells Fear here go see if your friends are okay, and if you try to run, I can easily grab you. Jason sets Fear in the puke puddle, and Fear goes to check on his friends. Are you guys okay? Can you hear me? Asks Fear in a worry tone. Fear gets no response as the acid has made them blind, deaf, and numb. So they are like barely even breathing. They're as good as dead says Adam. Fear begins to cry. Then Jason says hey Adam, do you want to finish digesting them for me? Adam says sure. Jason grabs the four wolf bodies. Adam opens his mouth and Jason drops them in. Don't swallow just yet. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Says Jason. He goes and gets a thin rope. Jason goes back to Adam. Then says okay. Here is my idea. I'll tie this rope around Fear's torso. Then you swallow her at the same time as her friends. I can attach a flashlight to the string so she can see inside you. She will get to see her friends being digested in your stomach. Then Adam asks what if I start digesting Fear? Jason responds with when I hear her start screaming. Leave her in there for a minute so she can suffer. Then pull her out so you don't kill her. Then I will do the same. Adam agrees to do his plan. Jason grabs Fear, ties the rope around her, attaches a tiny waterproof light to the rope, and gives it to Adam. Adam puts Fear in his mouth with the other dead wolves. While holding on to the other end of the rope, Adam swallows them all with one gulp. He lets the string go down as Fear gets pushed down by his esophagus. Fear enters Adam's stomach. Adam can tell because the string stopped going down. Jason is listening to Fear though Adam's belly. In Adam's stomach, Fear starts saying things. She says so this is his stomach. It's so gross. Just like him. Oh. Is this yellowish green stuff his stomach acid? Maybe I can avoid it. Fear tries to climb up the side of Adam's stomach, but just keeps sliding back into the acid. She then tries to climb up the rope, but she just make more rope come down. Adam notices and says Jason, I think she's going deeper. She pulled down more string. Lol then Jason says no, I think she's trying to climb up the rope. Also she said that your stomach is gross just like you. Then Adam responds with well, then she can burn in my stomach acid for an extra minute. Sounds great. Says Jason. Then Fear says oh no, I can't seem to stay out of his stomach acid, and now it's starting to burn. Then she starts screaming. Jason tells Adam, and they both wait two minutes. Then Adam slowly starts to pull Fear out. 
As fear goes back up his esophagus, she feels relieved that the acid stopped burning as it got washed away by the mucus in Adam's esophagus. Jason watches as fear comes out of Adam's throat. As soon as fear leaves his mouth, Adam hands the string to Jason. So, how was it? Jason asks fear. Then fear says what the fuck is wrong with you? What did I ever do to you? Then Jason says, are you fucking stupid? You know what you did. You think you can disrespect people just because you have power in a few small groups. Just for that stupid question, I think I will kill you now. Jason takes off the rope. Then he puts fear in his mouth. No. Stop. Please don't eat me. Screams fear. Jason ignores her and swallows. She starts screaming on the way down. Quick, Adam, get the camera. Says Jason. Adam goes and gets his waterproof camera. Jason shrinks the camera, ties it to the rope, turns on the light, hooks it up wirelessly to the TV, and swallows it. Jason and Adam both look at the TV as the camera goes down Jason's esophagus. As soon as the camera enters his stomach, he holds onto the rope, keeping the camera in place. On the TV, they record fear screaming, dying, and being turned into bones. Jason puts it on YouTube, and it gets lots of views. The video gets lots of dislikes and hate comments from the dumb mouth breathers that supported fear. Jason and Adam both have a laugh at the comments. The end.